These are not good days for liberty. If you look around the world, you see that the idea of freedom, freedom which contains the sense of carefreeness, um, seems everywhere in retreat, hounded by guns and bombs. Cartoonists lie dead in Paris. And just yesterday, there was an echo of that terrible event in what one Danish citizen referred to as their fairy tale country, a place where they were not expecting such things. But there's, I think, another danger for those of us who wish to defend liberty, and that we can find here in America as well, um, which is the danger from a new kind of timidness, if you like. Uh, even here, the classical values enshrined in the First Amendment are under attack by the rise of this new timid culture, which on the one hand, more and more accepts the arguments of thin-skinned bigots that offense must be a limiting point on freedom. I've got to return to this theme because it seems to me that here in America, the danger to free expression is, be is beginning to be greatest where it should be most defended. That's to say, within the walls of the academy. And the people most willing to sacrifice or limit this fundamental right are young people. Human nature is the same everywhere, in all times, in all places, in all languages, under all political systems. And all discussions of liberty and its limitations must flow from that fact. What is it that human nature demands and must be allowed? Not all of human nature can be considered good, which is why most of the Ten Commandments tell us what we should not do. Not kill, not lie, so on. But the best of human nature is our innate understanding of and need for personal liberty. Nobody anywhere ever enjoyed being a slave. Everybody everywhere offered a chance of freedom, grasps it as a thirsty man seizes a drink. And any of us looking into himself or herself can and will see the same driving forces. We are language creatures and we want to be able to express ourselves in speech. We are autonomous individuals and we want to express our autonomy. There is, yes, a counterforce in us also uh, in which we sometimes believe the group to be more valuable than the self and maybe these two ideas, these two instincts in human beings are in conflict but the, but the the need of the self to be itself and say what it is, say who it is, is very, very great. This is who we are. Free men and women, born free, as Rousseau said, but everywhere in chains. It's up to you to break those chains wherever you find them. It's in your hands. The future is yours. Don't screw it up.